Q&A then. We did one for Max's channel and we just thought that went down quite well, so we'd steal it and do one of our own. You've got to bear in mind that was on Max's channel, which is the more successful channel at the moment, that so true. that's probably why it went but down well. You weren't on it, and a lot of people care what you have to say, so... Yeah, but I don't think that some people would be like, I'm oh, Dan Ronis is on it and turn that off. I don't, I, think think would, I don't think it would be like, except that Spielberg guy. I don't <laughs> right. think anyone else would do that. We might come on to that. All so right. put uh, a tweet and Instagram thing. Instagram was very popular. I think it was like 80 questions. So we're going to rattle through some of them, some of the quick fire. I hope we're not going to do 80. I'm just going to like go through them and if they're rubbish, they won't make the video. I was going to say, because I want to watch a football. <laughs> Kieran Westwood, will we win in the next game? Uh, yes. I'm worried about it, as I've said, as I've said previously, but there's no reason why we can't win. It would just be vintage Bruce, wouldn't it? And yeah. Peak Villa. AFC Holt says, what is Jack like as a captain? Have you noticed him become any you know, a bit more vocal or anything like that? I think he sort has, of giving it to When he was doing that yeah. in the Blues game, I think that's the kind of thing you maybe wouldn't have seen him do before. I quite like giving the captaincy to someone like him for, because someone like Elphick, for example, or Yedinak, if they're not captain, it doesn't change the way they Mings. behave. Mings, yeah, it doesn't change the way they behave. But for Jack, it can only take him up a level. Yeah. It can only make him focus more. So I quite like giving the captaincy to someone like that that's going to get an extra gear out of them. So there is, there is subtle little changes, I think. But apparently he's been one of the big leaders in the dressing room for a long time. And he's obviously one of our longest serving players. Well, because he's deserved the captaincy for what we don't see behind the scenes. He's not just going, oh, everyone likes Jack Grealish, have the armband. He's seen something in him to go, yeah, he fits that role. And... Let's face it, we're going to be throwing carrots at him to get him, try and get him True. to stay, aren't we, yeah. as well? So it's, it's, it's a clever move, but I do think it's the right move. Is that a phrase, throwing carrots at him? Because you're sort of dangling giving a him a carrot, dangling a carrot. I've just taken it up a notch and we're throwing carrots at him. Okay. AVSC Tyler says, how do you class a bottle of horse time at Villa? Legend? Icon, I would say. Hero, is that the same Hero, thing? Hero, icon, yeah. I don't think he goes down in legendary status because I think his second half of his time at Villa was yeah. not the best let's say but if you're looking back on a player and you think how many good moments has that person given me there'll be few that yeah. match up to some of the stuff he's done you think about going to Old Trafford we win 1-0 Gabby winner the endless goals against Midlands rivals especially but Birmingham City I think he definitely goes down in folklore Gabby and I th do think some people forget like he did have a really good season under Lambert's, Lambert's first yeah. season the people say he lost it when O'Neill went and he, he never reached those heights again but he actually had a really good season on the left with Vol with Volman Volman and Benteke linking up. That was a really good front three towards the, the first season. Yeah. Paul Lambert was manager, so I'll always respect him. It's a shame that he didn't hit the heights we perhaps thought he, he should have done. He should have perhaps got more England caps because there was at one point when it, when he was when he was on fire. But probably retired too early as well. But I yeah. think I think another thing people overlook is I think injuries caught up with him. He just couldn't stay fit. Fitness. A lot of niggles all the time. And it disrupts you if you can never get a run in the team and. Even when we had a rotten season in the championship when Bruce took over from Dumitao, he still managed to pop up with the winner against Blues in a season where he really didn't do very much. Yeah. So credit to him, he's lived a lot of our dreams and you can't knock him for it. I'm sure he'll be very happy with how his career and his life is. Abraham or Benteke? I don't know what they're judging that on. Who you'd prefer to have, I guess. They're very different types of players. I would say even though they're both goals. Well, Benteke was a goal scorer in centre forward yeah. under us. He doesn't score much nowadays for Palace when he does play. I loved Benteke. Me too. Really, really just loved him. I think it's because it was a, a miserable time when we were just we were kind of accepting mediocrity at that point and Benteke was just a shining light. Yeah. There's nothing there's few things that have been more enjoyable in watching Villa in my time as a Villa fan than watching him get on the end of a cross. He was just suddenly satisfied about it and his celebration and stuff. I just I just liked him. Yes. Yeah, I really liked him. I was sad when he left and I'm sad that his career's not really taken off since he's left Villa, but sometimes it does show you that better the devil you know, sometimes the grass isn't always greener. Um, but Tammy's had a fantastic season, Fant like scoring 20 plus already is a yeah. phenomenal achievement. And he and didn't play for the first five or six yeah, as well. People say, oh, he only scores tap-ins, but his movement, I don't know if you saw the AFL show No. after uh, the highlights, like Leroy, Liam Rossini picked up on uh, his movement. He's clever and he puts himself in good positions. He's not easy to to just find yourself in the right place at the right time that, that is a skill and a, yeah. a good trait to have so a lot of them both big fan, big fans of them both but obviously we probably won't have I mean neither of them up front for Villa next season I wouldn't <laughs> yeah. think Would you give Glenn Whelan another year's contract? I'd say no I don't think that we will I think it would be a little bit too sentimental to go yeah go on have another year I think if we're going to Premier I that, League I think maybe that's old Villa a couple yeah. of years ago maybe yeah. we would have Bruce would have given him another year Yeah, that's right. 
I'd it's like him to get another year because I like Glenn Whelan and I've always liked him. But if we go up, he's which we'll... now, yeah, isn't he? If we go up, he wouldn't be able to play Premier League football. And if we stay in the Championship, we're kind of heading in a different direction next yeah. season. He's probably on decent whack still. If you could take a pay cut, you might think about it. But wouldn't surprise me to see Whelan end up back at Stoke. Yeah. To be, to be honest, he's been... He's been a great, he's been a great servant. He's still getting the Republic of Ireland. Telling like he's a good player. He's still player. playing minutes, isn't he? He's not like he's at an age yeah. and he's not really playing much anymore. Like he's still playing and doing well recently as well. But another year seems a little bit short sighted. I think he'll it? be kind of he's kind of caught in a bit of no man's land, Whelan, because either yeah. way, Premier League or Championship, I don't think either suits him for what we're going to try and do. So yeah. I'd li- I, I like him. I, I've re- I, I like watching him. He's a kind of. I'm not a nasty player because he's not a nasty player, but just an old fashioned player. Yeah. Like, I, I, I like him and he does the dirty stuff and he's got good distribution and he, and he cares, he's low maintenance, but he, he, I don't think he'll be at Villa next season. His next two questions are quite funny because I said that we'd be doing this and they've both just said Dan with uh-huh. no differentiation between who. I'm going to say that this one's for you. Not a question, but some honest feedback. Sort out your Barnet. Could be a. Could be either, but. It could be any of us on the Villa I like to think fair. most people call me Rollo in, in the comments. That's so true. So if I say Dan, I'm going to put you... I mean, to be fair, probably since but that question's asked, I've had a new haircut. I don't I've gone care. back. I'm gone a, back to the greenish. I'm a bit like Tom's uh, school of thought that I don't care. You see, I, I do care. Like. I do probably care. Probably a mess now, but... I, mean, I think you wear it well, though. Thanks. I think you wear that... <laughs> wear that like look, a wig. Wear that look. No, no, I think you just wear it, wear it well. Second question was, where do you see it? And they put brackets, Dan. Again. I mean, I sit in the whole in upper K5, row 5, seat 129, if you want to come and say <laughs> hello. And that's where I've, I've always sat. I've big, never sat. Big turd on that seat. Yeah. The next I've game. never sat anywhere else. You sit by the dugouts, don't you? Yeah, lower Trinity. You get C6, different, but I'm not giving a seat number away. Different for vantage point. I don't want people coming me. up to me. I mean, yeah, it's unlikely. you got a different vantage point to me. Yeah, it is actually. Cause I've sat in the hole in a few times and it, is, it does feel like, I mean, obviously it's a different view, but it feels like a different perspective on how you see the game because obviously you're watching it from left to right or... Like backwards and forwards from yeah. behind the goal, it's weird. I prefer being like halfway line. That's just my seat now. That is where I've always sat, and I'll yeah. probably never sit anywhere else. It was not. I don't want to harp on about being in a box, but when I was in in the well, box, in the box, yeah, yeah. You didn't mention it. When I was in the Luke Roper box, is it, you do see you do see the game differently yeah. from a different perspective. Obviously, so that's is, higher up as well. It, it is interesting. I've got to say those seats were cracking. It is, it is, it's different, isn't it? You yeah, do, yeah. but I just love being in the whole end. I love to, I love to say I'm a whole ender. The Don Simon says, on a scale of one to one hundred, how good is Taro Mings? I'm going with seven hundred and four. Okay, um, I'll go by FIFA scores. So if we would say Van Dijk in the Premier League is probably like ninety, I would say, isn't it? Yeah. The Championship Mings is and would be a ninety. Okay, so relative terms, the Championship is the best. He's brilliant. He's brilliant. He's Incredible! He's been such a good signing, way better than, better, way better player than I thought he was. A different position to what I thought he was. Yeah. Just, ev- just everything. A leader. Just been an incredible signing. I'd, I'd love, love, love us to keep him, but it's just, I just can't see it happening. Yeah. As I said in the, uh, the match review from Blackburn. So if you want to know what I think, go and watch that video. Good plug. Thanks. Keeping in the defence, Andy Villa says, how does Axel get back into that defence? Or does he? Obviously, part of me feels like we have to go on a bad run to yeah. make us change it, and I don't want that to happen. We don't necessarily have to go on a bad run, but we'd have to start leaking goals badly yeah, again. Yeah, true. Which obviously we don't want to happen. You can't change that defence at the moment, but eventually, whether we're in the playoffs or not, or it's the last few games of the season or whatever, I do think Hawes will go back to left back and Twan Zabi will come in alongside Mings. And then you've got two players bringing the ball out, which is exactly what Smith wants on their right side. Yeah. Like their comfortable side. <clears throat> And I think, because a lot of the things we were saying about Mings, I don't think we were saying to the same extent, because Mings is a phenomenon, but we were saying a lot of good things about Twan Zabi before he got injured and we did miss him. But Mings coming in has kind of lightened the amount we missed Twan Zabi because yeah. he can bring the ball out. Yeah, Hawes yeah, yeah. has been a very good signing as well. But yeah, eventually I think he'll come in alongside Mings. I'll see Alexander says, and I'm going to tweet this question a bit, says if we get promoted and we can buy one of the players on loan now, who would it be? He actually said two, but I think... One is a hard I think Hawes is virtually ours anyway, so I'm discounting him completely because okay. I think he'll be there next season, whatever league we're in. The only other ones I could think of were Mings and El Garza. I'd go Mings every day of the so week. So I'd pick Mings, yeah. Yeah, just, I just love Tyrone Mings. AVFC Holt, big question. Favourite curry? God, I'm not much of a curry connoisseur. Just like to be standard. Honest, I, like, I like spinach in my curry. What and meat? I like, like Panache. It's always lamb. 
Always lamb. Lamb yeah. every time. See, I'll go chicken I'm a massive fan of chicken, if I'm being honest. Chicken is like a steady, can't go no, wrong. I'm always, always lamb. I'm trying to think what, what I had yesterday and I can't remember what it was. It was only last night and I still can't, I can't remember what it was. I like a naan bread if I'm going to go for curry. Like, I quite like on rice. This is my, nah, I could do that with the rice as well. No carb, I know at the moment, so. I'm all about the starters, to be honest. Cabo Beige do a lovely, lovely starter that you Not share. Like a, like a sharer. And it's absolutely immense, the cover version. So it's a nice place where it's maybe like good chicken tikka like on the bone. Like, like I don't like good. on the bone with any food. No, but it's it. like, like the meat just like falls straight off it. That's, That's good. good. Best and worst fans in the league. I'm not, presuming I'm not saying Villa in this. I can't say Villa. Nah. Worst fans, Blues, because they only turn up when Villa are in town. Good answer. But I will say the ones that do go are proper fans. I think I can't think of a specific team, but it's the ones that come to Villa Park and they've got like the whole allocation. And they've got like a little corner of the bottom. There was too. one team I like, thought like were really good. Or something like that. Yeah, there were one team I thought was really good this season. I know couldn't tell you. Who, who, who it was some lot of leaves, isn't it? And I think Norwich were quite good. I have been good. We haven't played, played, played them yet. Played uh, yet. Have Leeds fans were good. I, I will say as well that when we played Leeds, we did a couple of videos, and obviously the views were quite high. Yeah. I think Leeds are a big club. A lot of Leeds fans watched those yeah. videos, and I got to say, because I think we were quite complimentary about Leeds that day. To be <clears> fair, but they. They said they enjoyed the video and they paid us a lot of compliments, so yeah, doesn't often happen on YouTube, so I'll go with, I'll go with Leeds fans for being the best. Do you ever think we'll become a top 10 Premier League team again? Yeah. I don't know when it'll be. But at some point in the future. We might not be alive, but eventually, <laughs> oh God, what eventually it will happen. Top 10 is a bit like, for me, that's like almost nothingness, because I don't think it'd be that hard to finish 10th. Well, look at Wolves. So, that's what I mean, like a Wolves could come up. Wolves have gone up. Wolves have been good, but... Fair play to Wolves, it's not, by the way. I don't think it's... If, if change that to top six, oh, top I think six. that's a different Well, yeah, different the top question. six. Are, you remember 2009, 2010, we were pretty much level pegging with Spurs. Yeah. And now we're completely worlds apart. Yeah, new stadium aren't and everything. From, totally different. Spurs, yeah, you know, it takes so many years to catch up back to yeah. back to that level. But you just never know. 5-0 win in the playoff final or a last-minute extra time winner in the playoff final. No, 5-0. Let's just enjoy the day. Exactly. I thought that was a no-brainer question. Yeah. I can't take. I'm Come already on, nervy. Win it first of all. Get into extra time. Being nil nil all that way. That's grim. Yeah. To win it, next, win it last minute will be amazing. But imagine now, tension. You should be thinking, our oh, penalties are coming soon. We had a semi final nil nil with Bolton in the FA Cup semi final in year two thousand, and it was it was horrible. That's like five nil up. That just be party time. Yeah, I don't. I'm already like obviously we've put ourselves back into contention, which I did. I wasn't ever really thinking about playoffs being a possibility. Obviously, six weeks or so ago. And now I'm starting to think, do I want to go through that again? Oh, I the that worry was. of like, I remember just being nervous all day. Like, I didn't enjoy anything about the playoff final. Yeah. Or even the FA Cup final. Looking, I know we lost four 0 but even in the build up, I didn't really enjoy it because I was just nervous. Yeah. I don't, I don't know whether I'm re- I don't know whether I'm ready for that level of disappointment again. If we manage to get to the final and lose, to lose two years running would be soul destroyed. Yeah. And I was soul destroyed last year. It changed me. Something inside of me is broken and never recovered. From the I just remember being slumped in the chair just completely deflated it's probably one of the worst feelings I've had in my life yeah AVSE Ash says uh, I think this is about the channel I think he says what's it like having so much support it's nice as I say the good always outweighs the bad you're always going to get the odd comment like I've some right strange ones recently that I don't really get what they, what people are getting at but the love that we receive far outweighs yeah. any, any hate I mean we were talking to Max from Villa on tour the other day and he was like showing us some of the comments that he gets yeah. it's an 18 year old kid get a life if you're going to give him stick what's the point like have a go at doing it yourself like yeah. I, don't, I don't get the mentality of knocking people that are doing something for free but the support we get is phenomenal yeah but like you like you got recognised on the train today yeah yeah I mean Which, you getting recognised in itself is a, a know, major yeah. thing because I, obviously I was bringing all the gear here so that yeah. probably helped yeah and I was wearing the Villa shirt so he's probably put, shoes. you're put, in a weird you're in a weird get up there let's yeah, face right, it well that's something else <laughs> so obviously you probably put two and two together as like a Villa shirt gear like, I know who that is now if I was yeah. just in my normal clothes you might not have known maybe not but he was like oh yeah watch a bit of you and yeah good to meet you blah blah and then he came back when we got on the train he's like oh do you mind if I sit down and have a chat and I was like yeah Sam it's just a flash, but I love speaking to people I love it when people and somebody from Australia came up to me as well before fan cams oh, really? uh, a couple a man and a woman like sort of middle aged guys and I was like oh yeah uh, watch, watch all your stuff love the podcast love the fan cams blah 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 and I was like oh Sam do you want to speak and he's like oh no we've got to go Saturday prime like, example crazy. prime example I had a 71 year old come up to me at the game and say um, is how he discovered us this year and he was really keep up the good work really loving it and that means that means so much that like p- people can be even bothered to come up and yeah. say that to me <clears throat> the fact that a 71 year old watches the, our stuff I find absolutely crazy and then I was out for dinner with my family in the evening and another bloke who probably wasn't far off 
yeah. that age came up to me and said how much he, lo he loves, the, loves the Villa View and stuff. So it's great. Like Stuff like that means, means the absolute world. Yeah, because obviously there's the, the internal side of things where you look at it and go, oh, we've got 2% of viewers live in Australia. And you just look at that and go, well, it's just like a stat on a, on a web page. But then when somebody comes up from Australia and they've got an Australian accent and they're like, oh, I love what you do. Yeah, it's To mad. actually put like a person to a, a stat, that's mad. And you see like a oh, percentage of ages. I remember showing this ages ago and you'd be like, oh, we've got 2% of viewers uh, over 70. But when you see an actual guy come up to you who's that, of that age and going, oh, I love what you do. I just assume my dad had put his age in wrong <laughs> in the computer, to be honest. It's just crazy. It's, it's great. AJ Water says, favourite home and favourite away shirt? Home, I'd say the 99-2000, you know, the thick striped. Yeah, yeah, The one Merson. we lost in the FA Cup for the Merson, Ian Taylor, Burteng, yeah. Southgate, people like that. I think that's probably my favourite home shirt. Favourite away shirt? I did like last season's. The black one. Nah. No, no, I'm, I'm not saying it's my favourite, but I did like no, that shirt. I don't think I, I think. Like I like probably 98, 99. It's like a turquoisey blue when I've got it. The one that, that guy at fan comes with that? The yes, that one. one. Yeah, yeah that's, like a, that. that's a good shirt, LDV vans. Yeah. I think I was at my like absolute peak where I was a kid and I was absolutely loving Villa, it's loving it, John Gregory. It's interesting you say that, that it's to do with how you came to be watching Villa and enjoying it. Yeah. Because my, obviously, I didn't start going to like oh, five or something like that. So before that, I've only ever seen pictures of, and I know you can appreciate a kit from just looking at it, but you associate with the memory of being there. Reebok. Whereas mine is like the sort of one, the Nike Acorns era, the O'Neill sort of like seven, eight, nine. That the away shirt. See, I look at those shirts at the time. I was thinking, yes, Nike, great stuff. Looking now, back now, they're always. I look all the back same. and they're like just pretty much a template. Yeah, they're, they're all the they're same. Not, they're not anything special. Looking back, the Acorns things obviously a lovely touch, but I look back at the, like, the kits back in the day. The kits before like. I even started going some of the yeah, kits yeah. are great, like the, the Lecoq Sporty kits yeah. and stuff like that. They are lovely shirts. Yeah. And that's what this season's is based on a, a little bit. But Yeah, this season's are obviously great, but it's yeah. good to go. What's your favourite away? away? Away, again, I'll have to pick the one. Cause I, I didn't own any of the ones from before, but the ones you're talking about. So again, it's hard for me to go like, oh yeah, that's a good one. The one I like that I haven't got is the, I think it's from the cup final year, 2010, the away one. You know, Milner. The white one. White, and it's like pinstripes. Yeah, and it's like slightly England, like, wasn't it? one side was like slightly darker than the other. Yeah, I've got I that really shirt. Like that and the blue trim. Yeah, so you're picking shirts from when you were younger, yeah, exactly, I'm picking yeah. shirts from when I was younger. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Uh, Pat Singleton says, how do you four know each other? I think we've said we've told this story a few times, but it's just through just being on social media, isn't it, pretty much? I just got in touch with Matt, didn't I? Because I already vaguely knew Matt and saw that you two were doing the Villa View and I wanted to be involved. Yeah. So I just asked, basically, if I could be involved. And luckily you said yes. Yeah, didn't really have a choice, did I? Yeah. Well, you did, because you could have said no. Yeah, but, but Matt obviously I wouldn't have got anything out of that. No. Say no, I don't think. Matt obviously wanted me to be involved. Because we knew at that time we wanted to go into that next season thinking, right, championship season, we'll probably win every game, we'll get promoted, let's go big on this. How, how wrong <laughs> we were. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, oh, we'll get two people in and do more chat-based stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. Tom, I got to know through work, obviously, because he started working at Sky. Yeah. And in Dolan, just through social media, really. And he's quite just... A distinctive character, isn't he? You don't <laughs> yeah. think, once you've met Dolan, you don't forget him. Yeah. And they've just stayed in touch and see, become good see, friends. So those two come from from you. Yeah. Because they're obviously London based. Yeah, it does so help. I wouldn't. We wouldn't have had them on the Villa View if we didn't have you on it. No, and I love you all, lot, brothers. Oh. Even Matt. That's cute. Thoughts on Villa on tour? Who? Yeah. Previously, other channels would have come around and tried to like start some kind of war with us for no reason, like having to dig digs at us, and we've had that happen. But Villa on tour, like Max obviously used to watch our stuff before we started doing his yeah. channel. That's not me saying he's only done it because of us. But I think the two are very different, and I think, I, like you both said when you did the video, I think they complement each other. I think what Max does, although he's getting into a bit more of some of the stuff that we do as well now, the <laughs> vlogging thing is very different. It's something I wouldn't to what want we to do. do I'd be rubbish at vlogging because I wouldn't be able to watch the game and talk at the same time. Yeah, because I'm I, I can't concentrate. Probably won't be able to turn the camera on either. And yeah, there is the technical aspect as well, which obviously I don't thrive at. But I, I, I love, love Max, love the Villa, Villa on tour. Like we're going to hopefully do some videos together, put on some put on some things together. So yeah. I, 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 like, I like him, but I think they're very different. I do yeah. think they're different. You know, I need to think about this a little bit, get your head around, picture it. Right. Would you, who would you rather fight? 10 Carlos heel size Tyrone Mings, or two Tyrone Mings size Carlos heels? The first one. 10 Carlos heel size Tyrone Mings? Yeah, yeah Tyrone Mings is still going to be up for a fight, isn't he? Not he's three foot two. 
Well, I'll be able to stamp on him, mate. <laughs> yeah, well, I wasn't three foot two. It wasn't big, it wasn't yeah, a big but guy, he's still, was Yeah, say if he's like uh, five foot five or whatever. Yeah, but I'd fancy my chances against a yeah, person. Yeah, ten of them, though. That's the big thing, there's the That's numbers, true. and Tyron Mings is a warrior, isn't he? Yeah, but I wouldn't want to take on Tyron Mings, even if he was three foot. Nothing because he'd be smashing me. No, that's the point. Ten Carlos Hill size Tyro Mings. So there's ten little Tyro Mingses. Yeah. Or two Tyro Mings sized <laughs> oh. Carlos Heels. I don't like that question. <laughs> Gone. Silly question. Okay. Oh, I'd pick the second option. Silly James Rush. I'd rather fight two than ten. The size doesn't matter. I have to be, I've got to be honest, I didn't take the number factor into yeah, account. That's that's how like, it evens out. Silly question. If you enjoyed that video, why not watch another? Click the video choices on screen now to go and watch them in full. Be sure to subscribe to the channel by clicking our logo there on the left. Easy peasy.